Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brenna. I am Brenna Amonco, where we spread mental health awareness and positivity through products. For the past couple of weeks, I have been working on a little secret project, and I uh, this point, I've already officially announced it on my Instagram. And I have been working so hard on these pieces. I am in love with all of them. It's kind of like a new little hobby that I decided to pick up. And I think everything turned out really great and I'm really happy with how it all came out. So I am launching all of those items tomorrow and I still have to finish embroidering two crewnecks. But I wanna show you guys everything that is part of this launch so far. I have been a crocheter since I was eight years old. My great grandma actually taught me and I fell back in love with it when I found my crochet needle and some yarn and was just bored one night and decided to start crocheting. So we have a bunch of little flower coasters that are going to be launching. And this is called the Hand Stitched Collection. This is the one that I'm currently using right now in my office. And obviously everything's not perfect, but I feel like that just gives them even more character and even shows how much love truly went into these products. And then we also have three beanies that are launching. This one is the black one with a daisy on it. Here is a pink one with just some tulip and then a green one with just one little tulip. And I don't know if a lot of people know this, but the tulip flower in a mental health aspect means rebirth and an emblem of hope. Rebirth as in rebirth through adversity. And I just think it's so cute. It's very simple, adorable. Now for the crewnecks, I will only have a couple and in only certain sizes because I didn't want to do too many of them and then have a overwhelming stock of them. Plus, I wanted to make sure that I was able to get these out before my next craft fair and Black Friday. So our first one is a couple tulips with baby's breath. Again, do not roast me in the comments for stuff not being perfect. I honestly love them and I love the actions that they have. But I thought this one turned out really good. And then we have another one with lavender on it. She's very pretty and simple. And last but not least, for now, we have this one with a couple different flowers and some stars on it. I still need to make two more, but I'm not super worried about that because it launches not until tomorrow and I plan on showcasing the crew next tomorrow. So in the meantime, I have a YouTube video that I need to edit. It's, as it's actually my craft fair vlog and that's gotta go up tomorrow. Also, if you're new here, I post two videos a week. So if you like seeing me a lot, I highly suggest you subscribe. But yeah, I'm gonna get going on editing this video and and uploading it because then I can focus on everything else. So I did finish editing the video that's going up tomorrow and now I have some orders to package. These are TikTok shop orders and lately my flower glass draws have been doing so well on there. While I was gone this past weekend, I came home to about 35-ish orders just for those straws, which is kind of insane, but I'm like absolutely so grateful because even though they're $4 straws, $4 still means a lot and it's an order. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna try and quickly package these up and then I'm gonna ship them out.
Okay, the lighting looks so weird in here right now, and I swear it is literally only 3.04 in the afternoon, and it's already getting so dark out. Hopefully the lighting fixes a bit, but I dropped off all the packages, and now I'm just gonna rewatch my vlog that's going up tomorrow. I always like to like rewatch them to make sure everything's okay and looks good if it needs any more editing, I'll do that. And while I watch that, I also need to make a ton of glassware. I am out of so much glassware from this past weekend. So I'm gonna make some of that. I also have a wholesale order that I need to do glassware for, but I had to order more glasses. So hopefully those come soon. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing for now. And I'll see you guys after. I am having the most difficult times with my You Are Stronger Than You Think decals. For example, if you look at this one, this one has like a white backing and that's normally how this one is, but now it's clear. And so it peels off like normal, whatever, but I don't know what it is. Like, it's just like a stronger outer layer where when I am like trying to peel it up, it's either peeling up the sticker or it's completely breaking off some of the petals or just stuff like that. I don't know like really what to do. I've tried troubleshooting what I know like to do if stuff like that happens. So I'm gonna email the company that I use to get my cup wraps and then I'm gonna finish doing the rest of them because I'm gonna put these aside because I don't, I'm just gonna ask them like what else I can do because nothing's working and it's just ruining my design. So don't mind me and the way that I look. I had a hockey practice tonight. And if you didn't know, I started coaching 12U girls hockey this winter season. I missed hockey so much and I really wanted to get back into it. And so they, they actually asked me to coach last year and I turned them down just because I told myself I was going to give myself a year off. And they asked again this year and I said yes. So it's really exciting lot going on this winter but it's now like 9 p.m. at night and I still have to make two crew decks for tomorrow. I'm honestly kind of not expecting this sort of launch to go well just because it's kind of like handmade stuff like it's not perfect and some people like perfection and also like I haven't really marketed a whole lot about it just because I kind of just wanted to get the stuff up on the site so then hopefully before my craft fair next weekend I will have another launch because I have a lot of things that are coming but it's all if they get here in time so now I'm just gonna go ahead and embroider the two crew necks that I need to do for tomorrow Last night I finished up the other two crew necks and here we have a pink daisy. I think it turned out so good and I'm really excited. Then last but not least we have some tulips, just yellow and pink ones. I'm excited about this launch. I'm also nervous because I didn't mark it whatsoever 
I really need to get better at that, but I'm just excited to get these up on the website right away. And I only did one of each and just random sizing because I just did crewnecks that I had left over. So hopefully people like them. But now I'm just going to upload everything to my website and make a couple graphics probably. And then later today we need to start making apparel. I have some it's okay to not be okay crewnecks in this box. And then I also got the transfers in so then we can start making those for our next market. Okay, so launch has already happened and it actually went pretty good. We got a couple orders. So I'm gonna go downstairs really quick package those on up and then we will get to pressing some apparel done packaging up all of these orders and I'm gonna ship them out tomorrow so let's go upstairs and start pressing some apparel. Okay so while my heat press is heating up I forgot that I got this package in my PO box about like a week week and a half ago I just been crazy busy and kind of forgot about it but this is from necessary accessories let's open it up Okay, the box got a little bit wonky everywhere, probably because of mail. Oh, for cute. Okay, they wrote me a card, I think, or left a note. Oh, it says, Brenna, thanks for all your positive content on YouTube. You're such an inspiration to other small businesses. Also, as someone who experiences anxiety, I love the positive attention you're bringing to mental health awareness. Keep being awesome, Amanda, owner of Necessary Accessories. This was so nice, thank you. Also, I'm sorry if you hear my dogs howling. They like to do that whenever sirens go by. Aww. This is a garland and it has pins inside so when you hang up the garland, you can put like pictures on it. I'm trying to think like where am I gonna put this in my office because it needs to go up, maybe like right there. Okay, that's adorable. I love like little accessory stuff like that to where you can like pictures on them or even like really nice notes, like this one for example. All right, let's see what's in here. Ooh! It's a little keychain. It's so soft and like velvety. Oh, this is so cute. I don't know how it's gonna look with my clip right now, but we're gonna try it on. Okay, clip's coming out. Don't look at the hair. Okay, I feel like if I styled this really well. Okay, obviously not with this hairstyle, but like if I had like a top pony, had some more little pieces taken out, that would be adorable. Thank you so much, Amanda, for sending me this. Sorry, my hair looks a little crazy now, but let's get to pressing some barrel. I'm all better when I got nothing 
something that stuck to me Right on, move up again How you doing, how was it, how are you anyways? I just got you searching in circles, hopping on interstates Machines moving congruent to how you ventilate Try to stay outside the lines, but read between them anyways You need a break, maybe a dinner date Filet and fish to remind you of trips So last night I almost finished up the It's Okay to Not Be Okay crew next. I just have a couple left to do. And then I'm working on a semi new crew neck. I've had this design in my shop and it's been on numerous blue crew necks. So we're bringing it back on another blue one, but a different shade. And then all we have to do today is package up some orders and ship those out. So let's get rolling. Angry on the daily, feeling so stuck, quick saying wouldn't take ya. So tell me how you like it, what you decided, you need something enticing. Again and again, you just looking for a friend who won't ever leave you. Tell me you're the one for me, I let you if you trust in me. Tiny rings, I'm chasing, running with no love in me. Right round it goes. Tell me what you love seeing. Apply pressure when the wounds bleeding. I'm moving better when I got nothing that stuck to me. Right on, move up, baby. Tell me what you want from me. I'll provide it. I'ma get it done for trying. Tell me you don't want no lying. Ain't no other one like I am. Baby, come close, get your heart rate climbing. We can go slow if it ain't the right timing. In the bedroom with the right lighting. Love it when you right beside me when I'm driving. Let us see the three dots up when you typing Ooh. If it's all the same to you I wanna know how you feeling You can say the truth Tell me Buddy. What you need me to do Lay the room Baby, I've been feeling for you If not now, then let's not force it I'll wait for you And you're that important Change your dreams, girl, I support it a Sweet reward through all the torture If I'm the one, tell me now while I'm listening There's more to come, tell me can't you envision it Sit with me Okay, so everything is finished up and all apparel is finally made. I'm just so excited because the beginning of next week, I'm going to be getting in even more apparel and it's going to be absolutely amazing because I already have the transfers for the new ones. And I can't wait to share them with you guys. But make sure you guys are following my Instagram specifically because that's when I post when launches are happening and what items are coming. I'm going to finish all the day by packaging up some orders and then getting those shipped out as soon as possible so i'm gonna end the video here if you guys enjoyed it please get a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys